what's up? Um, this is what I'm up to. I'm now block building, I'm going to block paint. Lots of Russians. At the moment I'm just sticking, there's some that are full built and some that I've got a bit of paint on and stuff, but I want to do a lot of touching up on the painted ones. Uh, repaint, repaint a few. But I've been basically just hitting everything that we've had with weapons at the moment. I mean here there's a couple of boxes of Siberian veterans, a starter army and some winter soviets. I've been trying to give the majority of them rifles because they're all going to be like 10 man squads and <clears throat> the temptation with the Russians is to give everything SMGs and stuff and it's not very realistic to give you a massive amount all through the army so I'm going to try and stick to the to the rifles and just mix uh, a light machine gun in there and a few submachine guns here and there. I might have a couple of tank riders which will all be machine guns, uh, submachine guns and stuff but uh, generally I'm going to try and keep it as realistic as possible and not sort of power game which I think a lot of folks have a tendency to do I'd rather play something that's a little bit more realistic than just having all the gank gank platoons you know what I mean in squads but I mean uh, a lot of block paint puts a lot of people off but I tend to like to just get everything built everything primed and then I just work my way through them so it's just how I find it quicker. I know some people like to do them in batches, but to me this is a this is a batch. This will be I'll probably add some scout squad and some engineers and there'll be some heavy weapons and shit like that, but generally this is all the infantry that's gonna be on there. So as you said, just gonna all be tabletop. It's a good decent tabletop standard. And that'll be that. So that's where I'm at with Russian troops, just building lots of Ruskies. So I can have a nice red horde. Anyway, let us peeps.